Hello. Hi. Um, can you tell me what's your name? My name is Filip Branowski. How old are you? I am in my 30s. Uh, where do you live? I live in Lublin, Poland. Okay. How many languages do you speak? I speak 14 languages. Plus? Do you have any other languages? Yes, that... there are uh, two or three languages that I'm, I'm learning now and I, I, I'm not fluent yet. Okay, when did you start learning languages? I started la learning languages when I was about 13 or 14. Like, I mean learning, learning, not just learning basic words, but learning uh, how to speak. Yeah, I was about 14. Okay, how do you learn a language? Uh, it means like, how do you study? Well, I really believe that there is no one way to learn a language, that you have to try different other ways. So for me, it's a combination of learning from books and phrase books, and making friends and talking to them, and uh, and watching videos. So for me, it's not just one way. I, and I really believe that that learning a language, it's um, that that you should really try different ways, not just one. Okay, can you tell me the easiest and the hardest languages you learned? So, this is a complicated question because uh, whether a language is easy or hard, it depends what the learner's first language is. So for me, Turkish is the hardest, absolute hardest language because it's so different in terms of grammar. But if somebody, for example, if somebody's first language is, let's say, Kazakh, Turkish will be easier for them, right? And the easiest yes, one for me, it's also a matter of exposure. What's the easiest language for me? Well, I would say Ukrainian probably, because since my first language is Polish, then Ukrainian, it's, it's pretty similar. However, that, that's, also not, that's also not always the case, because it, um, yeah, because it's similar, sometimes it's, uh, you, can, you can end up mixing them or not being sure whether um, you're actually saying something in, in Ukrainian or whether I'm saying it in Polish and just changing my accent but I would say that Ukrainian was the easiest for me but that doesn't obviously that, 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 that doesn't apply to um, other people it's just like my okay uh, are you planning to learn more languages yes yes I definitely am but the thing is that right now in this stage of life where I'm in uh, I'm starting to learn other languages but it usually usually I learn the a language where um, I meet somebody from that country and I have the opportunity to. So it's not like I, I decide, okay, now I'm going to learn uh, Bengali or now I'm going to learn uh, uh, Georgian. But if I meet somebody from a country, then I, mm -hmm. start, I start learning it. Or if I go to a country, like for example, I never planned to learn Lithuanian, but I went on a trip to Lithuania and before that I, I thought like, okay, I'm going there, maybe I'll, I'll check this language out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you tell me about your job? Yes, yeah, so I work. I work as an interpreter and translator. I uh, I translate. Well, interpret is the word. Students from uh, nursing students, stu nursing students uh, mainly from Africa, from Zimbabwe, at a hospital. But I also translate books and and uh, I also give language classes. That's great. Um, do you have any recommendation for new learners? Yeah. So as I said with the as uh, as uh, with the first question. Uh, uh, I, I recommend that you do not stick to only one way of learning the language, but you try, you, you do it in, in um, you, uh, you, you try different techniques and combine them. And another thing that I, I cannot stress this more, enthusiasm, passion, and love for the language is the most important factor in learning it. If you're not passionate about it, then you're not going to do a good job.